You guys, it's been a long time since we made a video where it's just you and me and we're talking about something we all love. The development of Kabumon. Uh, it's something that I really like. I really like the uh, game dev process. And uh, not very often do you see a fully transparent development team and process like you do in Kabumon. So with it being something that interests me, uh, Ochi here and I want to uh, give you guys some updates on what the team's been doing. If you guys haven't been really doing any research on it yourself, you guys want to know what to expect in the 1.5 update. Um, I've got pretty much all the details, everything you guys are going to need to know. And uh, of course, this isn't any leaks or anything. This is all readily available information. But uh, I'm just going to show you a couple things. So, uh, Ochi, are you you want to you want to show them? You want to show them? Yeah, that's, she sounds like she's like so comfortable right now. This is awesome. All right, let's get it. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to discuss is when do I think that Kabumon 1.5 is going to release? Now this is the only thing that I'm going to talk about in this video that we don't like know for sure, right? Uh, but just to put it into perspective, so the timeline between the 1.3.1 update and the full release of 1.4 was uh, from April 1st to October 14th, so about six months, um, which is not too bad, not too bad for as big of an update as the uh, the uh, uh, 1.4 update was, you know. Um, but, you know, when we think about 1.4.1 just came out on December 22nd of 2022, um, you know, at the latest, I would assume that we could expect 1.5, at the latest, again, at 1.5 around the end of May um, would be... Or, uh, yeah, the end of May would be, or the end of June would be six months. But uh, I know that they have been talking about not wanting to have as huge updates so they can get things out faster. They've mentioned things in Discord about that. So, uh, you know, it could be coming anytime soon. Again, all of this is stuff we don't know. And, uh, but uh, there are, are some things that we know are ready for the next update, right? So the first thing I'm going to show you guys here. The first thing I want to show you here is the code changes channel in the Kabumon Discord. Um, it shows a bunch of code changes into the GitLab, uh, which is what Kabumon uses as a directory for all their code and stuff. Um, you can find all the, the assets that they use on there as well. Um, that's how I made the thumbnail of this video. Uh, but, you know, I mean, interesting stuff. Updated three Pokemon. Today it's 7.11 p.m., you know? And you can, like, click this and, like, see what it was. Uh, it looks like Mimikyu. Really can't tell. Oh, Lunatone. We updated some Lunatone, Solrock, and, and some stuff about him. And uh, Dragapult. Those were the three Pokemon that got updated. And they, uh, they now have uh, block bench models, I guess. Uh, and we could, we could pull those and see what they would look like when they get put in the mod. Not to say they're in the directory or anything, but I mean, like I said, completely transparent um, stuff. But that's not really the, the main thing I want to show you guys. I mainly want to show you guys this website, which I found out a lot of people um, asking my stream and stuff didn't know existed. So this is Trello. Essentially what Trello is, is it's a thing that uh, I've seen a lot of uh, com people who do commissions use. And now I'm seeing Kalamon use in which they will go in and they will... Uh, they can communicate what they're working on, what they have been working on, what's 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 going on. So it's exactly as it says. I mean, they have a couple things. Um, these are all the things that they worked on that are now in the game. So as you can see, um, some of these held items were just put in. The EXP share buff was put in the game. Apricorn signs. I mean, this is all 1.4.1 stuff, really. That got put on, put in these these lines, some some remodels. But the one that I love is this one. It says ready for next update. Um, if you scroll through this, I mean, there's only two things in here, um, but you can see we have the restoration machines getting all ready. And they're also working on these tumblestone balls, so we'll be able to make new Pokeballs from Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is really cool. Um, it also shows what is currently being worked on, so you can see all the brand new stuff that currently isn't in, it's in development, but like these are ready. Like if they could push these into the game now if they want, it's what I assume. And it shows you all the things they've got. And the, so some of them say that they're being planned for 1.5. For example, specifically more held items, relic coins, pouch of sacks, and gilded chests, more Pokemon. And this is the list of all the Pokemon they're planning on adding. And we can see some of the images. We got Hydragon here, we got the Tyranitar line here. Um, and you know, new, new trims, pottery, stuff like that. Ruined structures, which could be very interesting. And, and then obviously the fossils uh, that you can see here. Uh, they're, they're all going to be added in. But then you go uh, further down and there's some interesting stuff here, like better battle animations, you know, evolution stone boulders, 
which will be really cool to find a lot of evolution stones, ride Pokemon, NPC trainers, and then you get, you know, the planning phase. They're, they're working on some of these things. You know, Radiant Pokemon sounds really interesting. Um, changing the color palette. It's like shiny Pokemon, but they're different. And that's just going to be really cool uh, for Cobblemon to stand out, to have every Pokemon have their own Radiant uh, form, you know, so that's just that's actually something that they're kind of working on scarecrows don't know I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is probably something to do with farming um, But you can go even further and they're working on mega evolution Z moves dynamax trash civilization raid battles new biomes hostile wild Pokemon and more complex AI But what if the Pokemon fought back? Uh, wild Pokemon habitats and nests and, and legendary Pokemon so that's I mean that's all the stuff that that is coming in the future So if you didn't know this Trello existed, I mean on my main browser. I'm not on my main browser right now I actually have this uh, Favorited and I check it frequently just to see what the team is working on to see what I get to be excited for So I mean big shout outs to the board admins here. I don't know if your name's Chroma uh, Hiroku and uh, Vera great job. Thank you guys for making this Trello for us. I mean uh, you guys were already completely transparent and now you're literally telling us exactly what you're working on And that's just the thing of this mod that just like, you know It takes the cake for why I think this is one of the best mods that Pokey or uh, that Minecraft has ever seen uh, Not just because of what's in it, but because of the development that we have But what I also want to talk about is these restoration machines and everything but I mean, one of the one of the main things I want to talk about uh, here is the the fossils that are coming and the new structures, um, how I think they're gonna work. Um, I think you'll find fossils. It's it's hard to say. Minecraft did just have that big archaeology update, and uh, fossils might include something with that, where we can find them in the new um, the new ruined structures that are going to be, um, you know found but it seems like this is where you'll find tumblestone it does you know utilize the brush to find new pokemon themed armor trims pottery sherds and uh mysterious pebble called tumblestone it doesn't say anything about fossils so we, they might be going the route of other uh, pokemon mods where you just kind of find them underground and you know at the ocean floor or you know maybe there's a way to craft them uh i don't know who knows i mean we don't know how they're going to be found yet uh, which would be very excited to see but what i do know is that they do plan to get very creative with it so, um, obviously, when you go to uh, the block bench, you can go to the Cobblemon assets here. Or, excuse me, the, uh, when you go to the GitLab, you can go to the Cobblemon assets, and you can actually go to the block bench models for everything. And what block bench is, is it's what Cobblemon uses to model their, uh, their Pokemon, and, and pretty much anything you see in the game. Apricorn, berry trees, crops, I mean, it's, you name it. If it's something you can see, there's a model for it. It is uh, made here uh, in block bench. But you can see they already have a couple unreleased Pokemon, you know, in the game. So this is what Armaldo looks like. Uh, this is what our boy Tyrantrum is going to look like. Obviously, they're T-posing. You know, I could model them and animate them to do whatever I want. I'm not putting the effort into it for this video. Uh, but what I'm really excited for is there is going to, it seems to be like, there's going to be like little embryos. So this is a stage three embryo that they had on there. We don't know anything about this yet. Um, but this, apparently, maybe when you um, start getting a, a, a fossil going it'll go through the street three stages of being in an embryo before finally it turns into a fetus and every pokemon is going to have a fetus so this is tyrant and i think they're really cute i'm gonna pull up another one this is this is the adorable little archon fetus he looks like a rubber chicken um and I, i'm really excited to i mean everyone's every fossil pokemon is gonna have their own individual fetus uh, with three stages of, of, of an embryo uh, before it goes. And I'm sure that is going to happen uh, in this tank here. So, uh, I mean, it's going to be really cool to see. Really excited for it. I hope you guys are excited for the update. Let me know what you guys uh, are most excited for on this list. I mean, not only what's coming 1.5, but like I'm really excited for legendary Pokemon. Radiant Pokemon is going to be really, really cool. I mean, they have this icon already for it. We're super exciting. Um, it's been in the planning phase for a couple months and I'd just be really interested to see how it how it goes, you know? Trade Terminal, is that gonna be like the GTS? Who knows, we don't know anything. And that's what's awesome about Cobblemon, is we get to all speculate about what's going on and potentially add input through videos like this, you know? Um, so again, I wanna thank the dev team. Uh, and make sure you guys uh, stick around for more Cobblemon updates. And uh, the mod's only gonna get better. So, you know, start playing now, find a community. You know, not to, I don't want to plug my own server in an update video, but if you're looking for a community, I have a vanilla Minecraft server or a vanilla Cobblemon server. It's all about community and fun and everything. 
Um, so if you're looking for community and you know this mod's gonna be better, check out the IP of that in the description. Um, but really, you know, I won't, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't play on it, if you want other mods and stuff. I totally get that. Uh, but, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know what you guys are most excited for. Uh, and and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.